Hi, my name is Andrea Hernandez and I am the site director for the Science Workshop, Children's Museum Science Workshop Program. I'm here today courtesy of the Harris County Department of Education, City uh, Connections Program through CASE. And I am going to be doing an activity today that is about roly polies. So roly polies, what are they? I think some of you in green class have probably run across the roly polies while you've been working in the garden. And others, like if you picked up a pot or a log or some leaf, sometimes you see them, they look like little baby armadillos, real cute. And when you touch them, they roll up. And so when they roll up like that, they look like a little pill. So also known as pill bugs. Um, but today we're gonna kind of investigate them because they're really cool for one thing. And then what they do uh, is really cool also because they really help the environment a lot. And so when you see them, please be respectful of them. Uh, we are going to be handling the roly-poly today. So if you're afraid to touch them, you can use a spoon. And um, I also used the trays from like a, a McDonald's pancake breakfast or a Whataburger breakfast. And those are really good trays to put animals in because they're clear and you can see um, all the stuff. So I'm not scared of roly-polies. They don't bite. So I'm gonna pick them up with my hands today. And um, we are going to pick up pots. We're gonna pick up logs, we're gonna pick up leaves because these are the places the roly-polies like to hide. And they like those uh, areas because they don't actually drink water. They absorb water through their gills. I did say gills because roly polies have gills. Do insects have gills? No, they don't. Insects have uh, three pairs of legs and roly polies actually have seven. So when we pick them up, you're gonna see. So those are a couple of differences. Roly polies are not insects. They're actually crustaceans. Crustaceans, yes, like lobsters and shrimp and crabs. They're more related to those guys than they are to butterflies. So we're gonna go looking for them. Where can we find them? Uh, I have some mulch here some leaves in my garden so i'm gonna start with some of the mulch and see if there's any of oh ah, there's one right there there is the roly poly so roly polies are grayish in color uh, sometimes they're kind of brownish if you see a blue roly poly it's not good because that means they're sick um, so most of the roly polies will look like this they will roll up when they're still threatened um, see their little legs they have seven pairs of legs uh, roly polies are a special type of crustacean because they don't live in water like the other crustaceans. In fact, they will drown if they are in a lot of water and they have uh, their legs are all the same. So roly polies are a special type of crustacean called isopods and iso means equal pods means uh, feet. So it's like equal feet and they're different than the crabs or the lobsters because they their feet are all the same. The, those of you that have seen the decomposer tank in the workshop have seen the sow bugs, which is a cousin to the roly poly, but they can't roll up. So they're a little bit flatter, they're a little bit grayer. Um, but you see the little appendages has like a little armor on it. They're super cool. Uh, a lot of people like them because they roll up, because they're cute. They look like baby armadillos, like I said. But roly polies actually have a very important, a couple of very important jobs. One that people are familiar with is that they're decomposers. They take dead material and they make it into usable material. So everything in the world is recyclable. The same atoms, the same everything. roly polies help to take stuff that's dying and they help to convert it back into usable stuff so trees and plants can use it. If we didn't have uh, decomposers, we would have dead matter all over the place and that would be pretty uh, horrific actually. <laughs> so the roly poly has a really good job in being a decomposer. Something people don't know usually is that roly polies will actually take heavy metals out of the soil. They will eat things like arsenic, lead, cadmium. These are things that are really bad for people and bad for animals. And they will eat it and they will, it crystallizes in their stomach and kind of gets neutralized and then they, they poop out the rest and it's not so bad anymore. So roly polies actually help to take heavy metals out of the soil. They help to um, decompose material. I've heard people say, oh, they eat the plants. They don't eat the plants. They will only eat plants if there's nothing else. And if you do see roly polies on your plants, there's probably something wrong with your plants because they will eat dying stuff. <laughs> so your plants may not be in good shape. That might be why you see roly polies. But the roly polies did not cause the damage. So these guys are really important. When you find them, 
put them back where you found them. Don't hurt them. Anytime that we're doing stuff with live animals, we want to always be respectful. If somebody picked you up from your house and dropped you off somewhere else, you'd be like, oh, oh. you'd be like, oh, no, don't worry. He's OK. <laughs> you'd be like, where am I? So you want to always try to put animals back where you got them after you finish looking at them. If you have a handheld microscope, it'd be nice to take a good close look, but it's not really necessary. You can hold them up close and take a look at their little appendages, at their little feet. They're very interesting creatures and they're really good for the environment. So now we've gone roly-poly roly hunting. Um, I'm going to be doing a video a little bit later on, on if you want to actually make a terrarium with roly-polies and that way you can uh, keep them in your house. Yes, they're safe to keep in your house, but you have to build stuff correctly for them. I will show you how to do that, what the roly polies need to live, and um, this is all from stuff that you can find in your house. So until then, I'm signing off. There's a survey at the end of this video. Please fill it out and uh, please stay safe. Again, I'd like to hear from you guys. So if you um, can, ask your teachers to send us a message. We would really love to hear from you.